Hey guys and welcome to a Creo modeling session. So recently I came across this nice looking dagger and I want to have a 3D model so I can put it on my printer because it's a pretty expensive dagger. So let's dive right into Creo and start creating this design. Let's start by making a new part and call it Jack Commando. Okay. Now let's start on the front plane with a revolve and let's create our handle. Let's start by creating a center line and now we are going to sketch some lines this will be the base with some threads on then we have a groove for an o-ring and this should be a bit further out And then for the handle, something like this. And then we remove these segments. We're also gonna close the sketch. And now we can dimension it a bit. pretty big, let's make this 2.5, this is the same, let's give this a diameter, it will be 32, this also needs the diameter, let's make this 25, and this should be a bit smaller, Ten is already enough, and let's give. Oh, let's remove that dimension, and let's give this a thickness like this. Yeah, something like that. And then I'm going to place a spline here. And this side and this is tangent and this and this is tangent and then we're going to make a curve like this remove all those segments here you don't need the OK and there we have our handle alright looks OK now we can start creating uh, the blade itself so let's start off with a sketch on the this plane and let's go to our palette, polygons and use a triangle let's place it in the center and rotate it a bit let's size it up let's make it 25 let's make this minus 60 
OK. Hit the check mark. And now place a center line. And let's give this an angle that we always can change. And hit the green check mark. Now we're going to make another sketch, uh, triangle like this, on a offset plane. And let's make this 100. That should be far enough. And hit the OK. Let's sketch on that one. Do the same. Go to palette, polygon, and use a triangle. Let's make it the same size. This is OK. Let's make it in the center. Uh, close. Hit the OK. And there you have your second sketch. Let's make another one. Also an offset from this plane. And let's make this 200. OK. Again, go to the palette, use polygon, triangle. So let's make it snap to the center. Come on. There you go. Let's turn it to the opposite side. 60 degrees. And let's make it the same size. 25. Okay, close. Yes, hit the OK, and we have a third sketch now. The final one again, offset from this, and let's make this 250. Hit sketch, and we're going to place a datum point here in the center. And that's it for now. Hit the OK. Alright, now we can do a, a blend. Go to section, select a section. This will be the first one. Insert the second. Insert the third. And as you can see, we got our twisted shape already this is good for now so hit the OK and there is the start of a twisted blade OK now we are going to go to style and we're going to create a curve and this curve is going to go from here till here Hit the OK and edit the curve. Select the point and hold shift. It will snap to this point so you have a you get a 3D curve. And do the same on this side to the point. OK, now we are going to add some curvature to it. This one is going to be aligned with this curve, so it comes out here. And the rest we are going to do by hand. And let's see on the front, how does it look? Let's make it a bit sharper here. Let's view it from the top. Hmm. 
this needs to go down here make it sharper because this doesn't look right yet let's also make this a bit smaller alright hit the oh hit the ok for now uh, I cancelled it so let's edit the curve quickly again there we go add some degrees of freedom this one is going to be aligned to this and let's go to the front view view it from this side so let's make this a bit pointier and this should be sharp Let's also view it from the top. Mm. It should be like this a bit. There you go. Alright, this should be it for now. Hit the OK. Now let's pattern this curve around an axis and let's use the Y let's pattern it three times 360 degrees and there we have our curves next we can make a boundary blend between this one and this This looks fine to me. Hit the green check mark. And now let's do a copy. Remove these change chains and let's select these. Do another copy. Remove them. Select these. There we go. Now because these are surfaces we have to merge them together. Let's merge them together and solidify them to make them solid and now we can hide these these blends and there we go we have our tip on the blade nice next uh, maybe place around already here I don't know let's select intent edges Let's try and make it nine. Oh. Eight fifty. There we go. All right. Can okay, maybe also place around here and this one. Make it a full round for O ring. This looks fine. All right. Hit the green check mark. Now let's add these grooves that were also twisted in the frame. Um, how we're going to do that is we are going to select this edge, copy it, and paste it. And we're going to create an offset from that curve we just copied and make it half the size of the width of this triangle so it was 25 so 12 and a half and there we go hit the green check mark and now 
because it needs to run further than this. Uh, maybe also follow this a bit. We are going to create on this one we created earlier. Oh, we are going to also add a triangle. So let's create this triangle. Let's make it bigger, something like this. All right. Also create a center line so you can easily adjust this dimension later on and hit the OK. Now let's see, we should come out with this in the center, so let's make it one just for now and see how it goes. Now we are going to create a curve and we are going to go from this point at this point let's make this tangent to the offset curve and we're going to use it like this hit the green check mark now our curve is ready to make a cutout let's create a sweep and let's select this curve and hold shift to make it one else you have two different ones and we are going to create a cutout and let's sketch it will be a mm, simple sketch let's take this as a reference make the center line perpendicular and let's use a, a sphere maybe not too big alright come on I want the dimension from here till here Never mind for now, hit the OK. And you can see we have our cutout, but as you can see, it's not nice in the center. So, oh, I accidentally selected the uh, triangle so let's take this one maybe if I play the sand Alright, so we have a cutout. Let's not start on this. Let's make it a, an offset of minus 5. Alright, this is okay. And now we are going to edit this one and just kind of 
twist it around. Seems to be not looking correct. Why not? I know, I know. So I, I had to place this sweep on the center. So let's constrain this on the center point. Delete. Make it ten. And this looks much better. All right. Now you can still play with this and twist it, make it a bit smaller if you like the cutter to go deeper into your tip but this looks fine for me so there you go let's now pattern this around the nexus three times 360 degrees and we can hide these also the sketches yeah. it starts to look like the twisted tri blade actually let's add a round in here not that big can we make five yeah, just pum, pum, pum. all right. Now we are going to add the holes that are drilled in the center of the slot. So let's see if we can use this one to create an offset again let's make it uh, so that's not correct so let's insert before this one And let's already create another offset that is the same. It was 12.5. Now we have the same offset. All right. Let's insert here again. All right. Now we are going to place a point on this offset line. And let's give it a value let's make it one point oh it's a little point one and hit the OK alright now that we have a point on here we are going to create an axis through this point and normal to the surface so it's perfectly perpendicular on this surface hit the OK the next axis is also on this point come on uh, uh, yeah if you have the axis selected it makes a axis on the same one so select the point and we're going to select the curve also so it's tangent to it 
hit the OK and now select both axes and create a plane through it let's edit this outline and make it a bit smaller something like this okay and now we are going to create a revolve on there we're going to select this axis and this one as reference all right and now sketch some lines something like this um, yep with the drill point make a center line is 118 let's close the sketch always forget it All right make this five maybe yeah Alright, so we have our axis, hit the green check mark and make it a cut. And there you can see our cut. Let's check if this is if the dimension for the hole is correct. Um, let's pattern it around an axis three times again. 360 degrees and hit the OK and looks to be fine still there are some issues here so let's see if we edit the sketch and we change it completely perfect I guess but for now it should be okay so let's move on because we have to do this two more times um, let's also delete this pattern this was only to see if it was working or not uh, blah, 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 delete pattern let's pattern this again but this time we're going to use dimension and use the where is it should see this rel dimension somewhere why am I not seeing it Cancel it. Uh, let's group this together. Let's make this a group. Let's now pattern it on a dimension and let's select this rel dimension. And as you can see now, you can offset it like eight times. a bit too many well let's make this smaller this offset 
something like this and how many holes do we want place them a bit closer together something like this and hit the ok and we have an issue alright and the issue is what exactly so I just created a new pattern and it seemed to work so now we can go on with this side and this side so we have to do the same thing again so make your insert select the edge do a copy and create an offset 12.5 for the center and also let's do it for this one make a copy and an offset um, let's go right this side 12.5 12.5 there we go I can drag the insert lower again and let's start doing the same thing here create a datum point with an offset an axis that goes through the point and this surface I said I want to create an axis through this point and normal to the surface okay let's deselect this axis and let's create another axis on this point and tangent to this curve select both axes and create a plane and create the same revolve as before on this datum plane as reference we're going to take these two axes and now a center line first and now we drew the lines oh. close it and dimension this 6.5 oh. center line Ma. so I want an angle from this well this what the no all right so again this this to here are you kidding me? No, I don't want 
a dimension I want an angle from here to here thank you so there we go make it a cut um, I don't have the same dimensions I guess let's check this quickly this one again make this also 720 hit the ok and hmm. can go a bit deeper actually Let's make it seven, three. I don't know yet. Huh? So for now, it's okay. I'll do the details later so the same let's group these together group them and then let's pattern this no oh, i had to switch a to a different mouse that i'm not used to so i'm sorry that i'm misclicking so let's do a dimension again and hit this one Leave it the same and let's hit six. Same as the first one. Alright. There we go. And now we have to do one side again create this point it was 0 0.1 okay create an axis through this point and normal to the surface and create another axis through this point and tangent to this curve and then select both of these axes create a plane and you can do another revolve select both of these as reference and let's create our lines and don't forget your center line else it won't revolve I'm having troubles with these lines eh? six point five and plus seven point three and now this angle again that was easy make it a cut and hit the ok yeah. I have to change something I believe 
So I played around a bit with the drill depth and now it seems to come out nice and smooth so there we have our drilled holes in all the three sides now we can move on and maybe add a, a chamfer here Alright, what can we do next? Let's finish the blade, let's also add a thread here. Let's create a, a helical sweep. And now we need some planes. And let's define it on this plane and sketch first place a center line and now a normal line take this as a reference something like this and hit the ok and now we can make a sketch will be a triangle sixty degrees and let's make it two or something mm. maybe three no. 2.5 this is going to be it okay and now let's do the pitch also 2.5 and make it a cut and we should normally see something be cut away okay so we need a bigger pitch Maybe something like this. All right, and there we have our thread. Next, um, let's edit this chamfer and also add one here. Maybe not this big. Bit smaller. Let's make it one. All right. Mm -hmm. Now let's finish our handle. Let's now create just an extrude on this surface. Let's take some more references and let's create a center line first. And now we're going to sketch some lines. Something. like this okay and this one then let's give it an angle and let's make it tangent to this circle let's do two and let's do here three or something already make these rounded give it a, oh. ok 
Okay. Let's make this one or zero point five. Something like this. And now let's make a cut. And it's not cutting away material because our sketch is placed wrong on the wrong location. I took this one, we don't need this one. We actually need oh tangent. It needs to be tangent to this one. There we go. And there is our cut. Let's pattern it around an axis. Let's use the coordinate axis, the Y. Let's make it 15, 360 degrees. There we have a nice spline. Now we can make a revolve on the front plane. And let's do another one. Create a shape you like. And then we are going to constrain and dimension it. Let's make this Constrain to this. And let's also round up these guys. And let's make them equal. Let's give them one. Alright, that's constrain these this should be fine hit the ok oh and we forgot our center line it needs to revolve around this one let's also designate it ok and let's make it a cut again This is a bit too deep. So let's make this smaller, something maybe like this. All right. Okay, and let's do another pattern, this time in a direction this direction let's see what we can do here Yeah, you can make whatever you like on this handle, but this looks fine to me. Let's add 
our last feature to the front plane and hit sketch and let's create a circle somewhere here hit the OK and let's make this a cut on both sides like this and now we can drag this round oh no we can't so we place a new one this is a bit too big as you can see let's make it one also on this side should we go for a round or we can maybe use this uh, let's see if this works no also needs to stay in the front for this one so let's create another one this looks nice eh? so a sham for this and there you go and hit the check mark and we can hide these and our dagger is kinda done last thing we can do is um, maybe give it some colors for rendering later on so let's start with this color let's take this for some surfaces choose intent edge and then go back to normal surfaces let's also select these and hit the OK and there you go uh, our dagger is finished now we can export it as an STL file and turn on my printer let's see how small if you hit zero and enter it takes the smallest quart height and this one will be also small as zero and now our 3d model is sliced and ready to import in the printer program So that's how you model your own dagger. Well, it's kind of replica, but still like it. So So I got the dagger printed. Came out really nice. I also took some old metallic paint and detail it a bit so it looks a bit more realistic but yeah for the rest it's very strong 
and uh, yeah, looks great so I hope you enjoy watching this video don't forget to like subscribe or leave a comment down below if you have any questions and I will talk to you guys next time see ya